And my name is Corey. I'm currently studying in 008, the Ordinary Degree of Electronics and Communications Engineering. I chose engineering because I've always had an interest in taking things apart. Uh, from secondary school in Chocolate, I studied engineering itself. Uh, it was a very general engineering course, but we studied electronics in it and it just grabbed my attention from the minute we started it. When you come into this course, when you start in first year, you learn the foundations of everything, electronics, uh, communications and software, which all three nowadays pretty much work hand in hand. When you go into second year then, you, you build on that, you build on the maths you learn from first year, the physics you learn in first year, the electronics you learn in first year, and you, you continue to build on to that until you get to third year, where you start learning about operate, different operating systems and networking systems. Well, currently now as a third year student, I am working on a project that is to optimise solar energy. So we want to build and design a system that actually tracks the sun across the sky. We're building a small scale, so we're working with torches and lamps, but the theory behind it is, as the sun moves, you want the solar panel to be able to track the sun across the sky, so it's constantly at 90 degrees to the sun, which will give you the optimal output from the solar cell. When you're studying this particular program, you're lab and lecture time is about 50-50, so for every two hours of lecture time, you have two hours of lab time. And in the labs, you put into practice what you learn in the lectures, so it, it makes it easier to learn because you, you see everything working from what you're learning in the lectures. One of the good things about engineering programs in DIT is probably the class size. You're in classes of about 40 to 60 people, so you get a lot of time, one-on-one -on -one time with your lecture. The lecturer is able to learn who you are, learn how you work. Another great thing is when you go into your labs then you're broken down again to about max size of 16. So once again the lecturer has even more time to spend with you and work with you. Campus life in DIT is pretty good because you're, you're in a city centre location so there's always a lot going on around you. In the college itself you have over 80 societies to join. There's engineering societies as well. You have your engineering society, uh, Waste Society which is the DIT Women Engineering Society, the Electronic Society. So there's something there for all engineers to do. With the Electronic Society, we try to make it a bit more fun to work with electronics. We uh, build robots and LED cubes, and we put a new spin on learning how circuits work. We want to be able to get the fun side of it rather than just what you learn in lectures and labs. When I complete this program, I hope to continue on to the, a level A course, because that's how DIT works. There's a ladder system, so you can progress from your level seven into your level eight. Personally, I hope to continue on to uh, DT-021, which is Electrical Electronics Engineering. I think this gives me wider career opportunities. There's still plenty of career opportunities out there with the Level 7, but I wanted to have the honest degree going to my career. My advice about this course is that if you have any interest in electronics, taking things apart, working with robots, or using your hands for a practical subject, this is the course to do. If you have any interest in maths and you do physics or any technical-based subject, I'd really consider this course. It's a course where the career opportunities are changing and there's always something new and it is the future.